Hey Drone Nerds, it's Matt, here today to talk about the Drone Tag Beacon. Meet the Drone Tag Beacon, a remote ID broadcast module that will transform the drone industry. With the FAA seal of approval and a design that's both compact and user-friendly, the Drone Tag Beacon boasts the best size, weight, and battery life in its class. Let's highlight some of the device's capabilities. Drone Tag Beacon weighs in at 0.6 ounces and has a dimension of 1.4 by 1.02 by 0.6 inches, so it's very small. It is equipped with broadcast remote ID functionality over Bluetooth, giving you unmatched flexibility and control over your drone flights. Drone Tag Beacon can store your flight logs in its internal flash memory and you can replay them in the Drone Tag app. So let's get into the package. After the beacon is delivered to you, the following contents should all be in the box. The Drone Tag Beacon module, a USB-C charging cable, one set of dual lock counterparts for attaching the device to the drone itself, an alcohol cleaning pad to prepare the drone surface for attaching the dual lock, a quick start guide with a link to the documentation if needed, and a drone tag sticker. On the inside lid of the box, there is a simple description of the device as well as explanation of buttons and LED indicators. So you have your device. Beacon weighs just over a half ounce and has everything you need on board. GPS chip for positioning and built-in antennas. Beacon also has an accelerometer and barometer on board for additional smart features. The built-in battery lasts up to 17 hours and can be easily recharged by any 5-volt USB-C source. Beacon is attached to the drone with a dual lock fastener that can support up to 6.6 .6 pounds of thrust. On the front, you can see three LEDs that indicate the state of the device. On the right side is a single button, which is the main control element. On the left side, you can see the unique serial number printed on the label. You must input this serial number into your FAA drone zone to become compliant. On the top side, there is a USB-C connector for charging. We recommend that you charge the device fully before first use. Short press the button once while the device is turned off to see the battery indication. Three LEDs indicate the status of the device and its component. Status, S, remote ID, R, and positioning, G. Status, S, informs about the overall device status. Remote ID, R, informs about everything related to the broadcast remote ID functionality. Positioning, G, informs about the current state of the satellite positioning systems. The best documentation and support in the market is offered by DroneTag. Visit help.dronetag.cz to explore their range of devices, learn about their functionalities, and access a detailed manual on how to effectively utilize them. This website serves as a valuable resource to assist you in understanding their products and selecting the most suitable one for your needs. Let's talk about the remote ID capabilities. Drone Tag Beacon is a bare minimum remote ID device capable with broadcast remote ID, which will be mandatory starting March 16th in the US airspace. During its operation, the device broadcasts drone telemetry, serial number, and takeoff location to its nearby surroundings. Remote ID establishes the essential framework for safety and security in facilitating drone operations. Furthermore, it aids the FAA, law enforcement, and other federal agencies in pinpointing the control station when a drone is observed flying unsafely or in restricted airspace. A remote ID receiver or a mobile app using smartphone or tablet hardware is sufficient to access broadcast remote ID data. To learn more details about remote ID, please visit DroneRemoteID.com. How to attach this to a drone? The Beacon uses a 3M dual lock reclosable fastener to quickly and safely be attached and detached from your drone. The dual lock holds firm when installed correctly. The interlocking heads slide past each other in order to close with a snap and peel apart easy when you need to separate them by simply pulling the strips by hand. Let's discuss proper location. When looking for a suitable location to place the Beacon on your drone, you need to watch out for four potential issues. Don't place Beacon over a curved surface because it might unsnap during flight. Don't place beacon on a soft material that can bend during installation, such as plastic covers. The dual lock might not hold properly. Don't place beacon over or close to other electrical components, such as flight controller, IMU, GNSS antennas, or RF transceivers. Don't place beacon in inaccessible locations. You should have the button and all the LEDs always reachable and visible. Placement. If you put your beacon on top of your drone, you can expect a better GNSS signal. 
when underneath a better range for remote ID broadcasting. Therefore, the proper location might also depend on your use case. Dual lock counterpart installation. One part of the dual lock is already firmly glued to the bottom of your drone tag beacon device. Besides that, you will receive a self-adhesive counterpart, which must be placed on your drone and a clean alcohol pad to prepare the surface. Find the proper surface on the drone for the dual lock counterpart. Clean the surface with an alcohol cleaning pad. Wait a few minutes for the alcohol to evaporate. Remove the foil for the counterpart and stick it onto the area. You must also wait five minutes so that the glue hardens. Snap the device into the location you chose on the drone. Ensure the glue on both parts hold firmly by repeatedly removing the device from the drone. Attaching the beacon with an aircraft counterpart is fast and easy. Just ensure that the beacon is centered on the counterpart and push it toward the drone until you feel the head's inner lock. This is also going to be accompanied by an audible snap. Before each application, ensure that both dual locks are clean and not bent. When you want to remove the drone tag beacon from your drone, pull the device free from one of its corners. Let's talk about the app. If you prefer to not use any app, you're not obligated to. The drone tag device functions and covers the compliance with FAA rules seamlessly without an application. Simply upload the serial number to the FAA drone zone, turn on the device and wait until it flashes white and you can fly. For enhanced functionality and to unlock the full capabilities of your drone tag device, including the device's status and data monitoring, firmware updates, you can download and utilize the drone tag app. How to set up an account. When you first open the app, you can walk through the basic intro about the app. We will skip it today and go straight to the login. On the first screen, you see the basic map. Now click on the persona icon, which will get you to the sign in screen. Use your already existing account to log in or create a new one. Register your device with the account. After you sign into the app, hold the beacon button down for two seconds to turn on the device. The device will wake up and will try to fix its position. The G LED will be yellow. In the app, go to the My Devices section and press Register New in the top right corner. Wait until the device is shown in the box of Parable Devices. Once it shows, Click on it, and then you can click the Confirm button. Once you get back to the section My Devices, you can now see your registered devices. If this does not work and you cannot see the device on the list, you can add the device manually via serial number. To establish a connection between the drone tag device and application, avoid using your phone's native interface, as it may disrupt the functionality of the entire device. Strictly utilize the dedicated application provided by DroneTag as the process has been streamlined to eliminate the requirement for manual pairing between the phone and the device. Starting a flight. Beacon comes with a pre-configured option called Flight Auto Start. That means that whenever you turn on the device and it's ready and has a positioning fix, it will transition into the flight state for remote ID broadcasting automatically. You can end the current flight by a single press of the button, which will save your data but by pressing one more time, you will start a new flight. Open the app to check the status of the device. When all LEDs are green, wait for the device to auto start or by pressing the button on the side to start a flight. The flight is ongoing when the LEDs are flashing white. In this state, the device broadcasts remote ID data to everyone around via Bluetooth. How to make sure you are flying compliant. You can ensure that your drone tag device is functioning properly and that your flight adheres to the FAA regulations by checking the following indicators. Your device is flashing white. In this state, the device is transmitting data in alignment with FAA rules, indicating that you are ready to fly. In the drone tag application, if it displays in flight, this signifies that the device is actively in flight and transmitting data according to the regulations. Utilizing the drone tag or drone scanner application, you can confirm that your device is broadcasting properly. I hope this helped you understand the drone tag beacon and its capabilities. If you have any further questions, please comment them down below and also be sure to like this video and subscribe to our channel. My name is Matt. Happy flying.